One night, a mother was telling an Anansi story to her children, Kwame and Aqua. Father Kofi was just getting home from the fields when he overheard the end of the story. So that is why Anansi the spider has such thin legs. Each one of his animal friends tied a rope to each of his legs, and when they needed him to come and spin one of his protective webs, they all pulled at the same time. That's not true. It's just a story. Anansi is not real. No, it is true. Anansi is real and he's our friend. Children, hush and go to sleep. Meanwhile, a mosquito, Tammy Tum Tum, flies from the corner and bites Kwame. Very satisfied with her meal, she leaves and flies back to the river to lay more eggs. In the morning, everyone in the family rises early. After a long day, Afia walks home from the market where she sees the nurse from Road Foundation Clinic at her door. Makwaba, I'm going from home to home today to let mothers know that we have had several malaria cases in the area. I wanted to make sure that you were aware of all the signs and symptoms. Well, Sir Wa, I know that the main symptom is when you get very hot and your bones hurt. Right. It's caused by being bitten by a mosquito. Many pesky bugs fly around, but the mosquitoes that come out at dusk when we are sleeping are most worrisome. It is very important that you come to the clinic as soon as anyone in your family is feeling sick. The malaria in this region of Ghana is very dangerous. Thank you for stopping by. I will remember. Goodbye. At night, the whole family gathered to eat fufu for dinner. The mother notices that her son is scratching his arm. She carefully looks at his arm and sees that he has a bug bite on it. Where did you get this? I don't know. I just woke up this morning and my arm was itching. Make sure to keep this clean so that it doesn't get infected. A few days later, Kwame wakes with a fever and doesn't want to get out of bed. Mama, Kwame doesn't look good. His eyes are very yellow. My son, how do you feel? I'm very tired and my head hurts. Okay, Kwame, today you stay home and rest. Hopefully you will feel better tomorrow and be able to go to school. Can I stay home too? No, you are going to school. School is very important. My husband, I am very concerned about Kwame. He has been very sick all day and seems to be getting much worse. Do you think I should take him to the road clinic? I think that is a very good idea. I know a few people around the Warabong that have been in the hospital for malaria. I wanted to bring my son in because he has so many of the malaria symptoms. I'm sorry to tell you, your son does have malaria. The mosquito has made a lot of children sick. Make sure he takes these pills, get lots of rest, and drink plenty of good, clean water. I will. One night when Kwame is much better, the family is sitting around the fire talking after dinner. In the corner of the house, they have a visitor, Anansi. He heard how very sick Kwame was and wanted to make sure that Kwame was feeling better. Anansi loves the people of Awarabong, especially this family, so he was very concerned. Later that night, the whole family gets ready for bed and goes to sleep. Anansi spins a web, climbs to the center of it, and falls asleep. In the other corner of the room, Tammy Tum Tum buzzes in. Anansi, startled, awakens from the noise, sees Tammy hovering over Aqua, and quickly reacts. Spinning a web to protect her, Tammy Tum Tum rapidly changes direction and heads for Kwame. Anansi reacts swiftly, jumps over to where Kwame is sleeping, and spins a web as fast as he can. Tammy Tum Tum sees the web and backs away. Tammy, get out of here! You make the people I care about very sick! I am not here to make people sick! I just want food! I'm hungry all the time! It doesn't matter if you are trying to make people sick. You are! I've had enough of you, you overgrown spider! Tammy, you hurt too many people. You need to get out of here. Get out of this village or I will have all the children hit you when they see you. Tammy furiously flies toward Anansi, who makes another web, and Tammy gets caught in it. Anansi jumps to get Tammy, who struggling successfully frees herself and flies away far from the village. Anansi is victorious. Afia and Kofi wake in the morning to see their children sleeping peacefully under the protective bed net. Mama, what happened last night? I had the weirdest dream about Anansi. He was here and fighting off a giant mosquito. He was trying to save Kwame and me. Just then, Aqua realizes she is protected under a giant spider web. This must 
have been Anansi's work. He saved us from the mosquito. He protected us. The next night, the family is at dinner. Just then, Kofi comes over and points toward the corner of the wall. Do you see that? There's a hidden message written out in the spider's web. It reminds us that we must protect ourselves from the mosquitoes. So every time we see a web, remember what Anansi did for us and how we must continue to fight off Tammy Tum Tum by using our mosquito nets every night. So the power of Anansi protects another village. You can help Anansi too and fight off Tammy Tum Tum by sleeping under a bed net. 